Hello guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hunt, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to install or make your USB bootable for your Mac OS using your Windows 10 or Windows 7 or also Linux and Mac. Alright, so let's get started. So, the very first thing that you guys want to visit this website is called the Bolina, and you guys want to download the uh, your operating system version like your Windows or Mac or Linux. So this support for all the cross platform and you can use on any operating system that you want. But you will be only able to install Linux and Mac OS. But but you guys won't be able to make your Windows 10 bootable USB because Bolina each year it doesn't support for Windows 10. I mean the Windows 10 ISO alright, but you can make uh, bootable Macintosh and Linux. That's really good. Yeah. So if you guys are tired of using the Transmac, then this is the best option for you because it's really fast and quick, alright? So I have already installed this one and the next thing is that you guys want to install the Macintosh. And if you guys don't have the Macintosh, then you can go to HackintoshJoin.com and you can download the Hackintosh from here. So you need to sign up for this website because this is the forum best website and you really need to sign up and you guys can download using uh, this download Hackintosh bar. All right. You can download anything like Catalina, Mojave and High Sierra and it's your choice, you know. So yes, just go ahead and uh, download whatever you guys want to download. Or if you have the MacBook Pro, then you can just uh, go on to your app store and download the macOS Catalina so it's that simple so make sure to download the DMG file so I have already downloaded the DMG file so now make sure to plug in your um, USB drive so I have already um, plugged in my USB drive here as you guys can see it's on the new volume and uh, yeah, you can open up your Bolina HR after installing it. So it should be just looking like this. Just like this, all right? So now you guys want to select the image and it's definitely the Nervous Mojave that I have downloaded from the Hackintosh Joan. And yeah, don't worry guys, I will keep all of the link under my description what I have done, all right? So you can also download the Bolina HR from the link under my description and select this Nares Mojave or whatever you guys have downloaded the DMG file and open it up and just you know make sure that you have choose your USB drive and continue and flash and click in yes now this should take you maybe 15 to I don't know maybe it, it, this will take like um, and this is a 15 to 16 minutes on mine. It depends on your uh, USB read speed and your write speed as well. So you should wait for maybe a you know like 15, 16 minutes. As you guys can see that there is estimated time, and it's showing like a 16 minutes, 16 seconds here. So I'll um, so guys, I will pause this video and we'll be back and also make sure that guys you don't want to close anything from here all right make sure it's open like even you need to open the insert deck sometimes it won't work if you guys close it so you can just try to browse and you know read these articles yeah spend some time so well after uh finishing up with the Bolina Etcher, then you should get the um, same same error kind of message for you. So press an OK and make sure to click on Cancel. All right. So now go to this PC. Now you can see that your USB drive will be like totally crap and broken. But it's actually not broken, guys. So you can go ahead and type it here. I like the exportation and you can check using this text management so you can see that it create the um, unlocated partition for uh, Macintosh which is 7.50 gigabyte after extracting and installing on your 
USB. So yeah, this is also using the EFI system partition as well as you guys can see that. So you guys really need to use UEFI boot mode and make sure that you have also turn off the secure boot on your BIOS setting. So if you guys are using the legacy instead of UEFI then it will not boot Macintosh or Hackintosh. So you guys if you guys are using the MBR also make sure that it is on the GPT format because if you are using the MBR like NTFS MBR then it will not work for you because the Macintosh uh, partition are also different so you really need to format your whole hard drive so but i don't recommend you guys do that so if you guys trying to install the hackintosh i really really recommend you guys to use external hard drive or use any kind of you know a, a extra hard drive that you have just use the extra hard drive or ssd that you have all right so make sure to install it on your secondary so by doing that you you guys won't be facing any problem even if you do the dual boot with windows so i don't have the external hard drive and i can't show you how to do that so so sorry for that folks so but you guys have now idea that what i'm saying for you i think it was helpful for you guys so now you guys can um so guys now after doing this you guys should be able to boot your macintosh using the usb and it's that simple using the bolina etcher so thanks for bolina etcher as well which makes our work really easier more than using the trans mac so yeah guys that's all for today and i think this video was useful for you so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and also make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys into the next video till then peace out